Right, last we left off, we've got some acid, a glass jar of acid. That's very, that's actually very descriptive. And um, we are just about to head back to where that gate is. So, let's get going. I think it should be going up the stairs and then there should be a path that's completely blocked by stones. So yeah, do a right turn here, and there we go. I'm just going to walk very slowly. Area... Area Celas. So turning right. And this should be the place where I get to see two rooms. Yep. So the padlock door should be just around this corner here. I'm not going to take anything up to chances because this game is brutal. This game just kills everything. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan an escape route. I'm suspecting something's going to happen the moment I try to unlock this strange little thing. Right. Let's try and use this glass jar. Uh, uh, can't speak. Glass jar. Glass jar of acid. Excellent. Hey. Oh, right. So this is the bit where I use this then. Hey. Oh, crap. I was thinking something might happen, but when I turned around, I just didn't want to flipping believe it that this guy's chasing me. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> please don't come here. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. gone. I was pretty damn sure he would have seen me. <laughs> Look at me st standing up as if like I'm a meerkat. Hello? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Bloody hell. I thought I'd seen the last of it. But yeah, like I said, you can't... You, you just can't let your guard down in this game. You have to assume the worst every time you do something. Whenever you pick up an item, especially the key items, whenever something is about to mix up with something in your item inventory, when they open a bloody door... <laughs> There's always something just lurking around a corner or under the bed. They really did... I think Frictional Game actually did a really good job in capturing that and... Just giving me nightmares playing this game, seriously. Okay, we're good. Holy crap a mole. Yeah, there wouldn't there wouldn't have been enough time for me to open this door. It's one of those where you have to open two sides. Oh, crap. Heart is still racing. Entrance the system. All right. Okay, I'm guessing this is the last bit. Well, let's. I think the video is just. It's not the end of the video yet. So let's go on to the next part. And I'll, uh, I'll save the video once we go through to the other side. What? 
Why is the music so intense? Oh, look at this. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Okay. This kind of setup makes me think that there's no... There's not actually going to be any monsters here. It's a bit like the back hall, so you can just go in and see. So you can go in and see everything, and it's ev it's very light, and the entire environment just seems kind of more like a breaking point between that world and the other. So it seems like a very big puzzle here. Okay, tell you what, let's uh, let's cut the video here, and I'll continue in the next one. I'll see you soon.